ninth place for him in Sao Paulo. A creditable debut. A childhood dream has thus come true. Having started in karts around 20 years ago, he's now finally arrived in the great world of Formula One, from test driver to starting grid. Test driver means I have to be always ready for racing, I mean, to do the race. So I have to always prepare for physically, I mean, mentally, and to communicate between team, and this is, which is uh, kind of my job. So as always, I was ready and uh, I'm waiting for this chance. Waiting for his chance and taking responsibility at the same time. As in the last race, teammate Timo Glock was injured, propelling the 23-year-old out of the shadows into the spotlight. The result, a top 10 place on his Formula One debut. But the level-headed Japanese is not getting carried away. There's naturally still a lot to learn. I can learn a lot of things for Yano's experience in Formula One and uh, Timo's experience as well because he drove a lot of category of racing and uh, you know, he, sure he had a lot of experience even he won the GP2 championship and this is for me which is uh, really important. Kamui also benefits from being a member of the Toyota Young Drivers Program which is run by Toyota Motor Corporation. It gives full support to young drivers, not only on the track, but also when it comes to personal fitness regimes and lifestyle advice. We need uh, support as well from many people. I mean, the worldwide, we need a lot of support, but especially we can get from Japanese support a lot. And this is, uh, which is, we can get a lot of motivate in Toyota and by myself as well. The likeable GP2 Asia champion is also a good reflection of the cosmopolitan personality of his whole team. Today I try Japanese uh, tapas. Lesson one, food. Cooking is one of his passions off the track since he left his homeland in 2004 and moved to Europe. Lesson two, the Lord. He soaks up the atmosphere of both cultures and combines them with one another. Lesson three, decoration. The Japanese people eat very early. We start to eat around six o'clock for dinner. <laughs> and at 10 o'clock, we, we have to be on the bed already normally. So. When I was in Japan, I don't know a lot of things about Europe, but when I came here, I find a lot of like new style, I mean, new life. It's really interesting, you know. Of course, Kamui remains true to Japan, not only when he's preparing chicken teriyaki. Lesson four, bon appetit. Or eating with chopsticks. Like the whole team, he just spreads a bit of Japanese character throughout Formula One. And now,